Our world is full of breathtaking views. Forest groves, pristine rivers, lush valleys, spectacular mountaintops, and so much more. The natural beauty of Yellowstone landscape is sensational. Wracked by earthquakes, cracked by boiling water, it's home to more geysers and hot springs than any other place on Earth. One of the most popular and recognized national parks in the United States. Unique wonders all around are unlike anything else. Stepping into another world. Yellowstone's undeniable beauty is subtle, reflecting the changes it has undone during its explosive past. Carved out river valleys created by ice foes, dramatic canyons over 4,000 feet wide and 20 miles long. Painted by nature, shades of orange, yellows, and golds. Each visit to a national park is a remarkable experience to enjoy something spectacular. It's an indescribable feeling to be kissed on the face by fog and breathe in pine scented air. There's nothing on earth quite like Yellowstone National Park. This is fountain paint pots. I'm not sure how much we'd be able to see because it's really foggy out here, but this is a 0.8 mile walk. So it's one loop, but of course we can't see the other side because of the fog. This is probably one of the largest um, boiling pools that's not that visible. It's beautiful. Just heard the rangers say that the water in this pool is 180 degrees. That is hot. I think I'm going to come back through here um, on my way out of the park and hopefully all this fog has cleared. Okay, fountain paint pots. Look at here bubbling. Can you hear that? It's hard to see it. Can you hear it bubbling? Do you guys see how the ground has opened up? Wow. That baby exploded at some point. I wonder if all these rocks and trees is from the explosion. You can just hear it uh, hissing. Here is called Morning Geyser. You can't see it, but there is a big hole in the ground. And something is down here making a lot of noise. And you have geysers over here, jet geyser. Oh, this one is really hot. I know that one's over 180 degrees. Do you hear it hissing? It is boiling. Wow. It's fascinating to see all these geysers and mud pot but if you really think about it <laughs> Yellowstone is just one big boiling pot that can erupt at any moment look at the depth to these trees skint them down to the bones wow I need to invest in a tire pressure monitor my tire pressure indicator on the dashboard came on, so I had to check all the tires to see which ones is low. And it's my two left tires, so I'm trying to inflate those and then get back to exploring. <laughs> it happens. It would have been a lot easier to know which tire it was instead of having to check all four tires. I need tire pressure monitors. All right, I got all the tires inflated. Let's see. Hopefully my tire pressure light goes off. Yay, it went off. Woohoo! All right, I'm sorry, I'm just a little too excited, huh? Back to exploring, I go. Okay. All right, back on the road. We rolling. I probably should have explored the prismatic pools 
yesterday when it was all nice and sunny out. I'm at the Midway Geyser Basin, which is the Grand Prismatic Springs. I may have to come back because I don't think I'm gonna find parking. Plus it's still foggy out. I won't be able to see the springs like I want to. I think I'm gonna go check out the Biscuit Basin and Black Sand Basin. And I think it's pronounced Gibbon Falls. It's an 84 foot waterfall. So I'm gonna go check that out. And this is a very popular spot too. So it's all good. I'm gonna be in the park all day today. So I'll just come back. You see all those cars behind me. And they go all the way up to the main road. Woohoo! I got lucky! I got lucky! I got lucky! <laughs> Yay! That's the walkway and trail up to the prismatic pools. So I'll see you guys at the top. Okay, so there's four pools that we're going to explore. Can you see that boiling hot water? Let me get a look closer. You can't really see the geyser, so I'm going to insert some pictures from when I was here last. In the late 1800s, Excelsior Geyser erupted and burst 50 to 300 feet high. The thermal violence formed the jagged crater. Eruptions continued, ceasing many years later. The geyser's outflow pumped more than 4,000 gallons of boiling water per minute over the crater rim into the Farho River below. On September 14, 1985, Excelsior roared back to life with 47 hours of major eruptions. Like most geysers, Excelsior is unpredictable with no discernible pattern to his eruptions. The Grand Prismatic Pool is out here, but you can't see it because of the fog. So I'm gonna insert some photos. When I was here a couple of years ago. Hopefully I have some good video too. The Grand Prismatic Spring is the largest and one of the most brilliant of Yellowstone's many colorful hot springs. It stretches approximately 200 feet across. The high temperature of its water is 160 degrees. It ensures that the spring is often cloaked in steam. Like Excelsior Geyser, it pours almost 500 gallons of hot water each minute into the Farho River. The intense blue color in the center is due to sunlight being scattered by the fine particles suspended in the water. The yellow, orange, and brown colors encircling the hot spring are caused by heat-loving microorganisms. Alright, this is my last stop on the west side of the park. Um, I drove down almost to Old Faithful. So now I'm going to circle back and explore the north side of the park. Biscuit Basin, and I believe there is a waterfall around here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. It's so beautiful out here. Beautiful. You get a better view of the pools up here. Yellowstone is one big boiling pot. Can you see in the distance where we're at? 
out here. That pool bubbling over. Let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, you see that? That is hot. This one is called Black Diamond Pool. Here's a different angle of it. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I think this is probably one of the prettiest pools I've seen so far. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Mm. Ooh, something is spewing. You see how clear that water is? Ooh. I think this one's going to erupt. My vocal springs. At first glance, Geyser Basin may appear to be a stark and lifeless place. Predators like the wolf spider are visible here year-round, often hunting flies and other insects that feed on the bacteria and algae of thermal mats. Thermal mat features like Emmer Pool play a critical role in the winter survival of Yellowstone's largest mammals like the bison and elk. The warmer ground temperature melts the snow, making foraging grasses and other vegetation much easier. Can you hear my, my bells? I got my bear spray. It's not smart. Not smart at all, Tiffany. And everyone has already gone ahead. That's the trail ahead to the waterfalls. I forgot my, my bear spray in the van. I am turning around. <laughs> nope. No can do. My time to die today. I see no waterfalls. I should have stayed with the group. Okay. More bubbling pools. Ooh, this one's really bubbling over here. Can you see that one straight ahead? Out there. Bubbling up. And as soon as I get over here, it stopped bubbling. Can you guys see that one across the way spewing? I've been waiting on that geyser to erupt. And as soon as I get over there, it stops. <laughs> this one here is Black Pearl. I'm taking a little break because I'm waiting on the jewel geyser to erupt. This bee, leave me alone. <sighs> I'm waiting on this geyser to erupt, so hopefully it happens soon. Because every time I leave, it erupts. So I'm gonna stand here, I'm gonna wait on it. I'm not gonna leave. Patience, Tiffany, patient. All it's doing is letting off some steam. Waiting. Okay, I hear it. <gasps> there it go. <laughs> That's what I was waiting on. <laughs> it 
it's shooting up about 10 feet. You can see the pools a lot better now that the wind has shifted and it's not as foggy out. Did you see that fish jump out and Catch. that dragonfly? There's another one. I came early this morning. It is packed. Everyone is parking to see the Grand Prismatic Pools. And as you can see, the sky is clear, which it wasn't this morning. So I'm sure it is beautiful now. I'm headed to Gibbons Falls. And that's gonna be my last um, stop of the day. And it's about one o'clock. I've been here since six o'clock this morning. So after I visit the falls, I'm going to sit and chill out. I don't know, maybe it's around five or six o'clock and then head back to the campground. Yeah. And then tomorrow I have to get up early in the morning. Um, I have two appointments, get my oil change and some new tires. I'm happy about the tires. I'm not happy about spending the money on tires. I swear my dollars have wings. This 
it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.